Welcome everybody to the presentation about the data vault model. So uh, let's go over the agenda again. So we will start by introducing data warehousing in general and uh, continue with the data vault. First, we will look at the data vault architecture, which is the macro perspective, and then the data vault modeling, which is the micro perspective. Uh, finish with the conclusion and uh, with a live Q&A session in the end. So what is data warehousing? What is a data warehouse? Well, it's a, in, in a nutshell, it is a system with all the enterprise data that enables you to perform complex analytics queries in a very efficient way, which will enable you to create amazing business decisions. So it is a central repository of integrated data acting as a single source of truth and an essential component of any business intelligence systems. Uh, usually it consists of several layers, staging, data warehouse, and data mart layer, but more about it later. Um, to contrast it with uh, typical relational databases, it is designed to handle big, heavy queries for analytical processing and reporting, unlike uh, a lot of very uh, lightweight queries in, uh, like we see in a relational uh, transactional database. So what does a data warehouse achieve? It achieves consistency. Uh, of the data. So uh, if we have a sales team, marketing team, finance team, for example, they could have um, uh, different sorts of data with different sources and um, their numbers don't always add up. They're not always unified and we need a consistent single source of truth where we, where we can really rely on those data. And this is exactly what a data warehouse uh, does for us. Uh, in this way, it enables us to make good business decisions. And it also provides us with the historical overview of the data. So not only does it keep currently valid records, it also provides us with all the historical values of those records, uh, which is something that traditional uh, relational databases um, uh, are, not, um, are not designed to do. Um, but um, this is one of the main differences. So um, what the data warehouse also does is it prevents duplicate work because efficient queries handled by data warehouse are unified, have unified data cleaning standards. Um, and also efficient processing of analytical queries, simple and effective way to gather insights to make business decisions. So let's look a bit into the history of data warehousing. Um, it all started in the early 90s with the Inman architecture. Uh, this is a top-down approach and a three-layer architecture. So we have the staging layer, the data warehouse layer, and the data mart layer on top of it. So the data mart layer is the layer where uh, the data is exposed to the consumers. But first, it needs to be uh, in the staging and data warehouse layers. So what do those layers do? Well, the staging layer, it uh, normalizes the data and provides atomic data at the lowest level of granularity. And then um, only after the full data warehouse has been created, one would create the data marts. So here we see that the Inman architecture requires a lot of upfront work to be done um, because only then we can add the data marts and expose the, the data to the consumers and uh, have uh, get value out of our uh, architecture. The limitations, apart from a lot of upfront work, are also a complex design. It increases as more tables are added to the model. And the changes to the data are very difficult to absorb and have a high impact on the data mart layer. Uh, I would also like to add that this um, architecture comes with a cost in terms of heavy processing in the staging layer, uh, which limits the throughput and ingestion capabilities because we have to normalize the data and clean the data before ingesting it into the data warehouse. Then the next architecture, which emerged in the mid to late 90s, was the Kimball uh, architecture, which is a bottom-up approach. Uh, it has only two layers, 
and uh, it's very limited in terms of flexibility against new changes. Here we have denormalized data, um, which are organ organized into data marts modeled using the dimensional model, easy and efficient to query. Uh, business rules have to be implemented before the data mart layer, so limited flexibility against business requirement changes. And adding a second dimensional model over the same data is more complex. So a major um, drawback of this architecture is that it uh, is very difficult to handle uh, new requ business requirements, new, new tables, uh, and it just doesn't scale that well. And it entails a lot of maintenance work, uh, a lot of work as we continuously use it. And then uh, with the new millennial, millennia, millennia coming around in the year 2000, uh, we uh, were given the data vault uh, architecture, which attain, uh, aims to uh, get the best of both worlds. It is a top-down architecture with a bottom-up design with a refined three-layer architecture, and it's designed to overcome the limitations of the previous traditional approaches. So uh, we have uh, um, three layers, uh, a refined staging layer, the main data warehouse layer, and the information mart layer. And um, let's look into the exact architecture of the data vault in the next slide. Thank <laughs> you.